What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bartlett Arborist Supply. Today we have a speed line setup. We're going to be speed lining a couple of these aspen limbs over a hickory and open into an open field. But today we wanted to highlight a little bit of the or in a rigging ring, right? In a configuration of controlled speed line. So the first one, we're going to send a couple of these limbs out, just no speed, no, uh, no control portion. And then we're going to do a, we're going to do a decent sized one with the controlled portion. Now, if you take a look at how we've configured it, I've gone through, so this is a, the, the largest ring I could find. It's a 300 KN ring and I've attached it via girth hitch onto a T-Rex dead eye sling. Uh, for the time being, that is what is worked and what's been working like that. So I have the speed line actually gone through the center of the donut right? That large donut, that, that big old chunky rigging ring, you know? So it's hard locked off and it's not going to run. It's not going anywhere. The only thing that's going to, its only job is to work on attention, which Chris is going to be doing all the tensioning for me today. And through the outer groove where the sling would actually go, we have a serious, a 12 mil serious rope, which would be our control portion. And that's how the two would work simultaneously together. So one guy or Chris can actually lock that off and work the, the control leg if needed. So if this was a house or we were speed lining over something delicate, you know, we could all, we always have the ability to stop it with the control leg. But like I said, we're going to do a couple first with no control. We're just going to boom and send it out, which that's going to be the first one. So again, cow hitch up top ring is gone through the dead eye portion with a via girth hitch. Uh, my stable braid is my control spot. So I'm gonna come down and I'm just gonna make way, make way on over this area and let's get rid of that because you can't really see. So I'm just gonna come over this way and I am gonna throw my lanyard on just so I'm stable enough to do what I need to do. Not too much tension because my big old self or my skinny self is all that this lid needs to break. Okay, so uh, slings. There's nothing really different here at this portion. It's a speed line, girth it off at the, at a suitable area here. Making sure we're choking correctly. Going up through, boom, boom. And I'm just gonna have this going over and through. So first part, first and easy, it's done, all right? Chris, let me get back in the position before you tension. Good. And I'm gonna clip this out of the way. So I usually keep spare carabiners on me just for this type of occasion. I clip legs of rope that I don't want interfering back to a side where I'm gonna be good. So that way, I'm free to just lanyard in and we'll be good. Chris, you good? All right. So here it is, clear up. Nice. And now down at the bottom, Chris can actually control and slack out my speed line as soon as he wants it to slow down and just descend, okay? So that right there was uncontrolled. It flew right to the tops of those hickories, no damages, we're good there. Now we're gonna come up, and I'm actually gonna send another one before I get to the controlled portion, just so that I don't have any obstruction when I go to swing one that way into the speed. Action! Okay, okay, okay. So we sent out the first one. And like I said, we got the second one that we're gonna throw out and dump out. Uh, no control leg again. We're just gonna send it free. And on this one, what I actually did, the sling was too long. So all I did was took a couple extra wraps on itself. So instead of just the regular girth hitch, I went through and passed it through uh, itself. So it's a, four, a total of four inside the girth and four legs of the webbing inside the girth. So again, I'm lanyard it up. And this one's gonna go instead of butt down, this one's gonna go there we go. This one's gonna go brush down, butt up. 
That's the way we like to cut. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, dump! Oh yeah, look at that. Nothing like a good handler on the ropes to make every rigging job go smoothly. You know, so it does pay to communicate. Me and Chris have been in constant communication. Hey, this one's gonna go no, uh, no tag on it, no nothing. Um, but yeah, so that's always important too. Now this next one, I am gonna do in a controlled format or a controlled form. And I'm gonna actually go up, tie it off with a sling and then come back down, tie it kind of close to the butt. So what I'm actually gonna try and do here and accomplish is instead of having it go brush down heavy or tip down or butt down heavy, I want it to spin and kind of lay flat and just run. So in the event too with the control line, if it gets stuck there or something, we can haul back up, retention, read, you know, and correct what, what has gone wrong there. So yeah, let's do that. Whoop, whoop. So we're back, we're back, we're back. So now what I've, we've, we've done is now we're incorporating that, that control leg. So right now it's, it's kind of twisted and crossed up, but once the line goes, it'll correct itself and it'll just balance out up top or down when we're going through the funk over there. So I'm just gonna come down a little bit and what Chris has actually done, he's actually added tension over there with a crick uh, used it as a three to one system. And that way he's able to get more, more pull power. You know what I'm saying? All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this down and out of my way, go this way, rope to the out, drop down just a smidge. And Chris, you ready? Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a notch so I get it to swing. Don't really need it, but we like notches. Okay, so right here. That's all she needs. Ready? Ready. Okay, so we're here, we're here. Right there, baby. Rolling up. And now if Chris wanted to hold it, he can actually stop it and then hoist or control everything. So right now, if, if he needed to, he could hold it, control it, and let's say pull it back up for whatever reason, right? Maybe we misconfigured the speed line, right? And we forgot when we said, hey, maybe we do need a little bit more tension. As it goes down, we actually have, you can have a porter wrap down below, lock it off, and continue to let it run or adjust the speed line accordingly. But we really don't have nothing to hit down there, so fire away, big dog. So now, oh no. Beauty of control. So I can actually hold this here too. Actually, I'm gonna do another cut here. So now, if we misconfigured that speed line, the tension on it, Chris can actually go back, adjust it just as he's doing. So he's actually picked it off higher with that crick. And now I can still control it down here. Another ground guy can control it, but now I'm letting it roll. And as soon as it gets over there, he can lock the, and pump the brakes on it. So now, like I mentioned, so up top, we have that, that ring, right? Speed line through the center control leg to the outer groove and it's just locked off like that. So this is another use for a, a ring if you didn't have it in a sling configured up to ultra sling or whatever it is, right? But yeah, so that's is that. And I continue to let this roll. Chris can let that down and we're cooking. But this has been control speed line with a big old donut ring or the rigging ring, okay? And uh, hopefully this helps out a bit. Uh, I know Chris did a good, phenomenal job down low talking about how he anchors off his, or how he, pre, how he tensions out the speed line. 
But uh, yeah, thanks for checking this out. Visit us at Bartlettman.com. Google us, Bartlett Arborist Supply. Hit that like and that subscribe down below. Let us know what you or how you like to speed line. What are your things that you like to do? Uh, down in the comment sections. And yeah, have a good one. Climb safe.